Breaking news. Amuteku in Ondo State combed the southwest forest for fleeing northwest Fulani headsmen who have recently been terrorizing um, Ondo State. Some flee, you know, on, the, on, the, on their um, intelligence and tracks. Some has flee to uh, uh, Edo State and some has flee to different direction. And what they find out, what they find out as they were combing the forest will shock you. What they found out as they were combing the forest for this fleeing full and headsmen who have come to commit these atrocities, who have been going around and, you know, causing trouble in Ondo State of late. What they discovered about, about these persons in the forest as they continue to comb it will honestly shock you. Okay, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Amutekun comes southwest forest for fleeing northwest terrorists. Northwest, Southwest states on Thursday said they have put the regional security outfit Amuteko on the alert following renewed attacks by some Hilafulani headsmen and there in Ondo state. Amuteko officers of Oshun, Oyo, Ondo, and Ikiti, who spoke separately with our correspondent, said they have gotten credible intelligence that this terrorist fleeing militant operating in the northwest would seek refuge in the forests of the southern states. Amutekun personnel therefore said they have started combing the forest in the region for the fleeing areas from the northwest who are coming into the south and committing these atrocities. As the southwest states beef up security, groups including our, uh, our conservative forum, the Pan Yoruba Group, Afeni Ferry, Ohanese Zendigbos, in separate interview with the Punch, lamented recent killings in the country, particularly in Zamfara, where 200 people were killed, as well as Plateau, Ondo, and in Enugu state. The group said recent statements in, in insecurity by the President Muhammad Buhari shows that he was not in doubt with the reality that these things are happening. Berating the president, the ACF said insecurity has worsened in the country since he assumed office in 2015. Things have gone from bad to worse. Despite his military credibility, for which some people voted for him, it has all turned out to be a lie. The ACF noted that sadness with sadness that the president was elected partially because Nigerians believe he had all it takes to crush and form security to ensure that the country regained back her posi position and stature with regards to security so people can go about their lives. However, he has failed even more than those that did not have military experience. The forum through its national publicity secretary, Emmanuel Yawa, stated there are in they are in relations to sustainable security. But what has been happening recently, the killings in Zamfara, Niger bandit attacks in Ondo, o o Enugu, Benwe, and Plateau, another part of the country, shows how much of a failure President Muhammad Buhari is. He said the president was elected because they thought he was a former military chief and could do something worthwhile. We only hope he rethinks and do something because he has failed. What we thought about him, the portray, was a different matter to what it is today. During an interview last week, Buhari was asked what he thought could bring a lasting solution to farmers' headers clashes. The president, among others, said the way out was for the grazing area and waterfront to be secured. Can you imagine? No words at all. Nothing really sincere and concrete. What is he talking about? They should give them grazing area. In 21st century, in 21st century, when others have moved, when things have advanced very far, President Muhammad Buhari is still thinking the cattle is char the cattle, the cattle char the cattle, and the car with the cattle feed. How will the yeah? I don't know. And he has been traveling, no. I don't know if he has. I don't. Maybe it's only in Nigeria that we have cattle. He has been traveling. Has he ever seen a cow on the street? Have he, has he ever seen a cow on? The, he has been traveling. This man we're talking about. He has been traveling. There are there are countrysides where. Animals are, are grazed and there have never been shortage of animals. Yeah? 
from from poultry to to ruminants, small ruminants and to large ruminants like the like the cows. They are all properly and thoroughly well kept in designated areas where they are, they are you know if they, if they want to roam it's on a large uh, you know expanse of land and they are not roaming free it's within a confinement within a containment hell is the way they go because overseas because of the various uh, you know sharp difference in seasons like they have like winter and summer is too extreme so they put things in place to ensure that, you know, the animals are well fed and looked after. However, in Nigeria, it's a different ball game altogether. A different ball game. What you thought about is so different from reality on ground. So different. We have some of the best of weathers, just hammer time, rainy season and dry season. Yeah. So within this season, people, animals can feed and all that. But I mean, we don't do that. We don't put things in place. We don't do anything of such. All we are doing is something rather very different. You, 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 as, you as a president, you've not taught it true to create a state where you can give them all the due necessities that they need so that they don't run from one place to another. All you are doing is trying to oppress people of their, of their, of their, of their possession to give to how does it work. Like seriously, do you really think it's going to work? One person will come and surrender, you know, his, his things and give to you and your boys because you, you are what? Of, at what cost? Yeah? When, when others were securing lands for themselves and, you know, and their, and their people, you guys were roaming around following cows. And that's why the love for the cow is unimaginable. Because a, a cow's life is worth more than a human life, you know, to an average Fulani man, all things being equal. So when you look at it, you understand where we are coming from, that there are real issues here. Because if the president, the man that is the president, cannot see the problem, how do you want to, pay, how do you want to paint the problem to him? What, do you what, do you, what are you expecting from him? You're not going to get very much, I can assure you. You're not going to get very much. If you think you're going to get something from him, it's not very true. You're not going to get very much. You're not going to get very much. You're not going to get very far with him. You see? These are some of the things that are happening to towards today as we speak these are some of the things that are going on leave us a comment we'd love to hear from you please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless you have a lovely and a fantastic day from us is bye for now bye